guys, what's up? This punk guy here. Thanks for joining me back on another art video. Now, usually I do like an intro and stuff like that, but I wanted to get right into the video today. Now, if you're the first time seeing me, don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out art videos occasionally every now and then, but um, I do like to put them out. So if you like seeing my art, then uh, definitely check it out. Uh, hit the bell notification, all that. And uh, let's talk about this ship. Now this is a pirate ship being attacked by a kraken, and if you've been watching a lot of my videos, you know that I'm a big, big tiki enthusiast, and even though this is a tiki, it's more of a nautical theme painting, I still consider it a tiki adjacent at least, you know, the kraken, and the rum, and all that kind of stuff, very uh, tiki, you know, related. So as you can see right now, I am working on the underpainting, and really right now it's just more redrawing what I drew, but with paint, and I'm using a sienna color, I believe, to do the background and everything, and once I put in all the details, then I can go in and just layer the painting. But this is always the funnest part for me because I never know what or how it's going to turn out really, and it's all just kind of a big guess. And you'll see uh, me working on it, and I kind of rearrange my steps, and I kind of take a different approach after a while. But um, this is the first initial, you know, just working through my brain of what I want to do with this and how I want the lighting to be. And I'm also using a bunch of different references. So I'm not really using anybody's specific ships or cracking ideas. I'm just kind of using an amalgamation of different things that I've seen on the internet. Thank God for Pinterest, that's for sure. I also want to take the time to talk a little bit about composition. Now as I mature as an artist, I really start to notice uh, composition is something I never really did before. And I'm using the Fibonacci spiral right here to make it flow really well. And if you guys don't know what that is, I'm going to put a picture up right now around here. Uh, you can see what the Fibonacci spiral is. And it's a perfect, well used uh, thing that most painters use for compositions. Uh, one of many uh, little tricks uh, of the trade. But uh, it's a really cool art hack, so if you guys are wondering about composition, I definitely think that it has taken the paintings to the next level and just the flow of it makes it really awesome and uh, really worth paying attention to before you even uh, put any paint to, to the board. Now here you can see is where I run into my first big real hurdle is I wanted to do like a yellow ochre sienna background color and it wasn't working for me at all. I should actually put in just the background first and then the clouds on top of that but I decided to put in the clouds and try to work around it. It didn't work out that well but now you can see I put in a red background and there's actually a really great uh, AFI album Black Cells that I actually took that idea from, and I'll put it up right now so you can see what I'm talking about, and then they go, you know what, the, the yellow ochres are working, let me try doing the background because I like the way this album cover looks and I thought it would fit perfectly. So here's what you guys all really came to see, the painting of the actual ship now. I'm using a burnt umber uh, with a little bit of white and also using a little bit of sienna with a little bit of black to get those variations of browns in here. But mostly thank God for that underpainting because you can't really tell as I'm putting up the blue tape right here to really get those uh, straight lines but uh, you could see the underpainting underneath and that really helped guide me along the journey of painting this ship.
This was definitely the most fun of the painting where I got to paint the actual cell. I used an off-white and a little bit of black to get that gray tone. But also on top of that, I used a lot of layers to color it as you see uh, the progression of the painting. Now, one of the coolest things to do is I have a makeup brush, like a little makeup brush that girls use to put on their face. And it's a, it helps blend, really. And I, you can see me spray a little mist uh, brush every now and then, and then, I, and then I blend it in with it. And it's a really cool technique that I've seen other artists use. And it helps a lot because a lot of people think that I use oil, and that's actually a really great compliment is the fact that I use so many layers that people think that it's oil because I get that really kind of buttery look to the painting. So as you can see, it's the next day, obviously, because I'm wearing a different shirt, but also um, that the angle has changed in the position of where I set the camera at, and that's because right now, currently, I am moving into a new art space location, and I'm just kind of uh, freeing up the space that I had that made the space that I had right now really feel congested. And it's kind of cool just to open up that space a little bit and change the angle. And so, I don't know, if you guys don't like this angle, then just let me know because I was just trying something differently. Uh, follow me on Instagram at this punk eye and you'll see what my new setup looks like. And I'm pretty sure I'll really be able to get better lighting and a better composition when I'm filming these time lapses. So if I'm being all honest and letting all my cards out on the table, I was a little bit hesitant to start painting the Kraken tentacles, mainly because I wasn't sure how to go about it. I wanted to put a lot of texture into the tentacles as well, and I was going online and looking up how uh, other artists did it and stuff like that, and I'm really happy with the way they came out. Um, they kind of have a little bit of a realistic, but a little bit of a fun fantasy vibe to it, and I really, really do like the color and the way the suctions came out. It just if you look at it real close, you'll see all the little details and stuff like that. I gave it a kind of a wet look, and I'm really happy with the way the tentacles came out. So saving the hardest part for last. As you can see me using my phone, I'm actually using another um, painting as a reference for the waves because I was really trying to figure out how I was going to do this. I've never really painted waves or crashing waves before like this too. I mean everyone's done like the kind of Bob Ross seascape painting and that's kind of where I took my inspiration for her painting. You'll see me pull out the fan brush in a little bit and I never use a fan brush for anything. but. Um, yeah, so I, when I did this top little wave right here with the white, you know, flecks coming out of the sea foam, I figured that I was on the right track and I had a little more confidence in what I was doing. Like I said, I never really painted waves like this, but hey, sometimes you just have to go for it. So I think the key to painting 
waves and getting them realistic is really a lot of patience because it takes a lot of layers of paint to get on and just getting all those little lines and stuff and detail into the waves to make them look realistic took a long time. As you can see right there, I took a toothbrush and I kind of splattered some, uh, some white paint on to give it the brushing waves, but I figured, you know what, let's just paint it on instead. And it, it came out way better than I thought it was going to be. I do see some of the mistakes that, you know, personally I would fix myself, but I'm happy with the way it came out and adding all the little detail, like I said, the lines and the strokes. And right here, I'm finally done. I'm so happy with the way it came out. I'm just adding my signature, like always. This punk guy, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you like this painting, let me know what you guys thought about it. And uh, stay tuned for the final product. And I appreciate you guys watching this. I'll see you guys in the next painting.